In this session, we will look at the benefits of using more than one relative locator. I mentioned in the previous session that relative locators are good for dynamic elements. Here's an example of a dynamic element that I covered in my XPath video 87 talking about why we should never copy XPath values. There are two ID values. On the left, the value ends with 37 and on the right, the value ends with 49. In this screenshot, the arrow is pointing to the most recent ID value that ends with 49. The value changed, but the tag name remained at P for paragraph. We can include relative locators to the other locators such as XPath and CSS selectors for finding dynamic values. For this session, let's use the same sign-in page as the previous session, but this time get the text of Remember Me, which is above the sign in button and to the right of the checkbox. Let's inspect the checkbox. And the ID value is remember me. We also need the tag name of the remember me verbiage. So let's inspect it. And the tag name is span. We're going back to IntelliJ. And I need to copy the element for the sign in button and paste it in our new test script. We also need to go ahead and get the value for the remember me checkbox. So I'm going to write web element remember me check box equals driver dot find element by ID and the value was remember me. Now let's find the remember me text by writing web element remember me text equal to driver dot find element and since we are going to use a relative locator we add with tag name the value of the tag name was span at the dot and the verbiage was located above the sign in button let's go ahead and print the verbiage by writing s out text equal to remember me text then we're going to get the text using a selenium method let's run we see text is blank. Why is it blank? It's blank because the checkbox and text are both located above the sign in button. Our test script found the checkbox. Inspect the checkbox again. And we see it also has a span tag, just like the remember me text. The checkbox was selected for the relative locator because it's the first span tag. Recall that find element finds the first web element, so that's why checkbox was selected. 
In this scenario, we need to use multiple relative locators because it's more accurate than only using one relative locator. Remove the semicolon and add the dot and the text was located above the sign in button and to the right of the remember me checkbox. Now let's run again and see what happens. Now, text has a value equal to, remember me, and it passed. Next, let's find a list of web elements. Let's get the URL for our next test strip. I'm going to copy HTTPS add-ons testproject.io, and I'm going to paste it. And this here will take us to the add-ons page. On this add-ons page, we're going to get the names of each platform. If I inspect each icon, the tag name is IMG and the names are located in alt attributes. We see platform web. I'm going to inspect the next icon and it shows platform Android. The third icon is platform iOS. They are located to the right of this text box. Inspect this text box. And the value for ID is Q. To find a list of elements using a relative locator, we start by writing list. Web element. And the name will be all platforms equal to driver dot find elements find elements with an s finds all of the elements with tag name with the value of img to the right of the text box is id value Q. Here's the logic. We must loop through each image, then print the name. So I'm going to write a for loop for each loop, which is an enhanced loop. And I'm going to write web element platform. And the name is all platforms. That's it. Now let's go ahead and print S out platform dot get attribute, not get text, but get attribute. There it is. And inside the quotation, I'm going to write ALT, which is the attribute. Remember the names were located in the alt attribute. So that's why I wrote get attribute and not get text. I created a video that explains the difference between get attribute and get text. If you want to check it out, you can go to video. I'll put it in the description. I'm not sure exactly the number, but let's go ahead and run. Bingo, we see all of the platform names, platform web, platform Android, and platform iOS, and it passed. That's it for using more than one relative locator to find a web element and how to use a relative locator to find a list of web elements. 
I have more videos on the way. You can like, subscribe, and click the bell icon. Plus, connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And Test NG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.